Hello, it's Scott Manley here, again playing X3 Albion Prelude. I am continuing my voyage across the stars to rendezvous with a convoy so I may protect it. Success However, I'm go. blowing up bad guys Our on the way. And Senator, the Argon Federation is honored to yes, you should be. I just shot down three dudes. I am Connection not entirely terrible. Okay, what have we got? Products, um... Crystal. Oh, this is a hot. Or this is like if I want buildings and things like. That. Oh, so I can buy the spaceships and stuff here. I can also. I guess I can also sell my own spaceships, upgrade ships. Uh, upgrade. Equip one ship. Mm, I'm not sure what that's doing. The Centaur accelerates. Maximum steering two RPM. Upgradable to three point nine RPM. And I can upgrade this to 1,250 units. And yeah, I guess these are all space stations essentially that you can set up so you can run your, your whole galactic empire thing. Solar power plants, they're needed by everything. Space fuel distillery, <laughs> that's what they call it. I like to call it this whiskey. Secret factory is the oh wow, a centaur is like 9 million. I should just the totally centaur. sell this thing. Okay, I'm gonna undock and get on my way. Actually, I don't need to do it. I'll just go to sector map. Not nope. Go to universe map. Go to universe map, and we're gonna head over to wastelands, and we'll dock here. Docking okay. granted. And it just Auto starts. Excellent. Oh, of course, I can cut out all that boring bit when I'm being terrible. Now there are missions I gather where you need to scan asteroids. There's there's all sorts of different missions I've I've messed around with. There's ones where you scan asteroids, one where you deploy things. Ooh, look at that. Um, there's one where you go after people to assassinate them, others where you go to sectors and shoot you know, bad guys. Uh, one where you track people and you have to be careful. Whoa! Yeah, I bumped into that dude there. 50% of my shield is gone. Not good. Uh, at least the autopilot didn't kill me. Almost killed me. Okay. And this is another red sector, which... I think the red sectors mean they're contested, or there's war or whatever going on. So we'll see what we get in here. I, I flew through it once without any shooting, but this time may not be so lucky. Entering autopilot off. Autopilot off. Nothing going on. Let's jump Game. through this. Black hole sun. Black hole sun. Won't you come? Okay. Uh, this one says this struggling ar agricultural system is situated between breathtaking planets Galrith Prime and Galrith Beta. Why wouldn't that be Galrith Alpha and Galrith Beta? Never mind. Recent attacks on supply lines by Xenon forces have led to many firefights among the installations. Oh! Asteroids and busy trade routes! There's bad guys. There's a lot of bad guys. Um... Terran. Oh, Terran. Scimitar. Scimitar. This may not be a good idea for me to fight. Looks like there's some people shooting at them. It's still 3.6 kilometers out. I don't know if that's such a good range. Uh, am I going at full speed? I am going at full speed. 95% shield. I haven't managed to hit it particularly well yet. I'm just going to keep shooting, seeing if I can wear it down. It doesn't look like there's any blues around. That's thick. Oh, yeah, got some shoot hits on it. But it will be four against one. Uh-oh, we get bad guys come shooting me. You'll spread my asses across the shell sector, yeah? Well, I'm gonna be spreading this ship's bits and pieces. 91? Yes! Okay. Oh, look, my turrets are shooting at him. Awesome! See, turrets actually working now. I have a... Pu yeah, well, you know what? I'm flying that this thing handles about as well as a large asteroid. Trust me, I've played Kerbal Space Program. I know what asteroids handle like. Okay, that's the next one. Not bad. Not good, but 
not bad. That's a Mjolnir, although the spate the game likes to call it Mjolnir, because it's clearly written by Germans who don't speak Scandinavian. I'm sure they're all very smart people. Oh, look at this, we got an awesome furball going on. That means lots of easy targets for me to hit. Oh, wow, do you see this? Like, asteroid getting blown up. That is, I have not seen that. I wonder, okay, more bad guys to shoot. What? Wasp missile. Not shooting me. Where's a bad guy? Missile. These are all, all these missiles are flying around, I don't think. I'm looking for something that is not a missile that I can shoot. I think that might be everything we've already destroyed at this point. This thing's flying out of range. No aim? Nice! Oh, there's one! Terran Rapier. Terran Rapier. I have no idea what a rapier is. He's faster than me, though. And he's closing distance. And he has missiles in his tail. Just get into range so I can, you know, scum onto your sick kill mail. There we go. Ah! Well, that's another one. Tomahawk Heavy Missile. Oh, yeah, we want to shoot those things, right? Tomahawk Heavy Missile's down this way. No. No. Wait. Is it there? Yeah, that's no good. Okay. I think it's time... I think it's time to uh, go on. Did we get any kills in that engagement? It just all looks like it's dead missiles now. No nothing else left to shoot at. Well, so much for that. Let us jump through the gate. Elysium of Light. Oh, that's the north gate. No, I don't want to go that way, actually. I want to go... I want to go east. Where's my east gate? East, east, east. There we go. Yeah, it's... Of course, it is the one that is actually marked on the map. Black hole sun. Black hole sun. Won't you come? Okay, I've done that a million times. I'm pretty sure that's the Easter egg. Uh, it would be cool if uh, the next version of X Rebirth had some more Easter eggs, like, you know, Kerbal Easter eggs. No, just kidding. So this is another boring flight to the gate. <laughs> oh, bad guy! Bad guy! AT autopilot on. Yes! <laughs> Excellent. That's what you get for flying straight at me. You get a wall full of pla face full of plasma. Yes. Oh, and there's another one. Man, I'm getting some serious kills here. Am I pushing my luck, though? Eight kilometers out. I don't think he's noticed me, he's moving rather slowly, but he's turning to face me. Perhaps he has heard about me, the Terran Killer. The Terror... Terrorist. No. Yeah, I gotta figure out. The, the Anti-Terror... Terran terrorist -is. Yeah. Come on, get in range, I'm gonna shoot you. There we go. Yeah. And he... Ah! Yes. Awesome. That's getting that's getting good. Black hole sun. Black hole sun once again. Fly through the gate and bring me to the black hole sun. Time accelerate, of course. So we can cut out all the boring bits as I'm flying around. Who who needs to know about that? We'll just let the autopilot do the work. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Now, so okay. Entering system, black hole autopilot off. Autopilot Entering off. Now this guy has a L mission for me. Jaren Charum. I've heard you're looking for help. Like Show me. Oh, it says. Hmm. 
We'll peek it sometime during this patrol. I I'm actually kind of interested in this. Uh, but you know what? I what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. I'm going to dock there. Autopilot dock. And then I'm going to save because I want to see how well this thing does against the Xenon. I have I've seen Terran ships, but I haven't seen uh, Xenon ships. How hard can it be? It does say very hard. So <laughs> I may be sending myself to get destroyed. I guess is the point I'm making. But uh, dying, you know, it's just a case of reloading. No, uh, no disaster there. Just more, uh, more skulls to the skull throne, as they say. Uh, mission is still here. Successfully docked. At the Kuna Bakery. Save game. Let's save it in this slot. The Argon Federation is pleased to bring me on board so that I can I can go and try shooting the Xenon since it's in this area. What's the job? Black Hole Sun. Okay, I'll do it. As foolish as this says, it does say very, very hard. So what do I need to do? I have to fly to... It says fly to this gate, but I don't think that's what we're doing. So what What does it say? My missions... Activate guidance. Guidance active! And there's nothing to shoot. Show briefing. Patrol the sector and defend against Xenon ship. Be wary of a possible full-scale Xenon invasion. So I don't know anything about the Xenon. But I would imagine that they're kind of like the Argon, but bad guys. But I could be completely wrong. Asteroid. Banshee missile installed. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. I keep on pressing M for map and then installing an asteroid uh, a missile. So one thing I can actually do is take a look at all these uh, things out in the sector which don't have like targeting braces around them, because. That's how you add new things. Apparently, you can you can fly close, but this is a good Asteroid. way because you don't need to be right on top of them. There Asteroid. we go. Asteroid. 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 Asteroids do not concern me, Captain Nida. I want that ship, Captain not Nida excuses. M. Zeta. Okay. Zeta. Wow, there's a few of those. Kahuna Bakery. M. Gamma. Gamma. There's a lot. Must be a lot of things in this sector if we've got gammas and zetas. Asteroid. I mean, it's Asteroid. interesting that they have they followed the naming scheme Asteroid. that you would find for uh, stars and constellations. Oh, what's this? We have something coming in. Xenon M. Xenon X M G P zero seven eighteen kilometers. And he's coming in more... he's coming in slowly. Missiles are armed. I shall... I shall continue to approach him. Hopefully. Auto-aim is on. He is coming in very slowly. I wonder what his plans are. Can I do like info on this? Info. The Xenon M is a fighter craft that first fought in the Xenon conflict. It was fast and lethal. Oh. Fast and lethal. Two of my favorite things in spaceships, unless they're other people's spaceships, in which case I like slow and paper thin. Oh, okay. I think time accelerate might help. Oh, wait a second, can I click on this and say autopilot attack? Auto ah, look! Activated. And I can just do time acceleration. Oh, there, he's got a friend. Or has he got a friend? Wait, Auto there's only two of them? It, it says this mission will be very hard. I mean, how can two spaceships be hard? I, I don't Xenon know, really. N. Are the Xenon particularly nasty or something? I don't really know X mythology, but... They do begin with the letter X, so maybe that's something to do with it. Maybe the X, the Xenon are the be-all and end-all of the bad guys or something. Regardless, I shall charge in full speed ahead as fast as this thing will carry me. Only a whole 123 meters per second, which is, well, it's about, it's less than half the speed of a passenger jet. So uh, I don't quite know why you would be flying something that flow in space, but uh, this is a game. 
Oh, they're shooting at somebody. Oh, wait a second. There was just two. Now there's like six, eight. Crap, this is like Top Gun, remember? Where they, they're flying towards the Megs and there's two of them and they suddenly and then it, they split out and it turns out there's like eight of them and they're like, oh my God, I'm outnumbered. Uh, okay, so Xenon, but they're shooting at somebody. So maybe they're, maybe they're shooting at somebody that will distract them for me. So, um, or maybe not. Let me see what we've got. Xenon. The pirate Nova. Okay, so they're shooting at a pirate who does not have much in the way of... Okay, they just blew up a pirate. Not good. Oh, but there's two pirates. Okay. Um, he's in a big ship. Um, should I come to his aid? He is a pirate after all, or should I let them soften him up a little more? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go in. I figured the longer, the longer they distract him, the more likely it is they won't be shooting at me. Okay. Come on. Get in range. Give me a reticule. I need a reticule. A reticule. A reticule. Give me a targeting reticule. Come on. There we go. Fire all mouse assisted lasers. Oh, well, they're shooting the blue guys as well by the looks of things. There's just like a big cluster of blues and reds, pirates and xeno and all shooting at each other and I'm in the middle of it. Delivering justice. Hey! Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. Yes. As a reward, you get 500 credits. Why, thank you. I feel that it's worth it. Is that now? Got another one. Excellent. Pirate Dragon. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot the pirate just yet. Wow, there's a lot of these Xenon exploding. He, he's almost dead a hull as well. Come on. No, okay, he's got shields again. Keep going. Nope. I'm missing him here. Hey, got him! Wow, he doesn't Pirate, survive much. Dragon, Xenon, There's and still one Xenon. Kill all the Xenons and then I'm going after the pirate, right? I wonder if I can get him to eject this time. That would be cool. It'd be nice to steal that big ass pirate ship, right? I know sometimes the pilots eject, but you have to be careful then not to shoot it. I think those green lasers are from the pirate, but I could be wrong. I, I get. I think my turrets are also green as well, but they're not working. Oh no, those are definitely pirate turrets. Ah, his shields are regenerating. Come on, we need to apply more damage. We need to offset his shield recharge. His or her? I don't know what. Or does Xenon even have genders? I mean, obviously they're noble gas and they don't react with anything. You know, with a name like Xenon, you think we would be like asexual beings that don't like bond with anyone else. But then again, the same would be true of the Argon, and I'm definitely bonded with this ship. Come on! I mean, there's obviously male and female Argon, so it's not an indication of their sexuality in any way. Yes! No, it's just the big one left. A good thing he's already been crippled. The way I like my target. That's a pretty big ship. Let's try not to crash into it. What? One percent. You can see in the little top right. You can see my laser turret shooting at him, which is kind of nice. Oh! Oh! Military incoming message. Excellent. Incoming message. Ah, uh, we eliminated four xenon ships. You get one hundred twenty-two thousand credits. Score! Excellent. So. Let us continue on towards our goal to patrol the space highways. Okay, and yeah, the rest of this trip was rather uneventful. So uh, we'll see the next part of the mission in the next episode. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. <laughs>